Thank you. Two minutes, Mr. Brennan. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, in July, in the Environment Committee, uh, we voted on LULUCF. And here, the central debate in the committee was around whether we supported the Commission's proposal to have a historic reference level or we supported a different proposal coming from a minority of countries and a minority of MEPs for a future reference level. Uh, the S&D supported the Commission position and the Environment Committee went on to support the position of the Commission. And now we find ourselves in a strange situation because having lost the argument about historic reference levels, the minority of countries and the minority of MEPs have come back with a wrecking amendment. A wrecking amendment that would remove the guts, the heart from the Commission's proposal. If you remove the word intensity from what is in front of us tonight, what is it that you would be measuring in relation to European forests? The whole purpose of the accounting system proposed by the Commission is to measure the intensity which we use our forests in the future compared to how we use them in the past. So if this amendment goes through, then you take the heart out of what it was at the Environment Committee and at the Commission level we were trying collectively to achieve. So please, when it comes to the vote on Wednesday, support the motion as it is, produced by the Rapporteur from the EPP. It's a compromise, but it's fine. We all agreed it, we can work on it. But there's only one amendment, notice, only one amendment, and that amendment must be po opposed because it represents narrow-minded individual country interests. Support the Commission proposal, which is for an EU-wide climate change response in line with the Paris Agreement, keeping the word intensity. Uh, thank you. I see a blue card uh, for you from uh, Mr. Frederley. Would you accept it? Yes. So, Mr. Frederley, please. Thank you, Chair. It's, it, it's with some surprise I hear your colleagues' strong words about a few countries. The few countries you're talking about are the few countries who have been doing. This is um, a debate that we've had throughout the LULUCF discussion. There are two things on the table. There's how we manage our forests, which admittedly is a nation state responsibility. But there is also how we tackle climate change. And that's an EU wide responsibility. And you have to decide ultimately which is more important, individual country plans for forests or how we tackle climate change collectively at an EU level. And I know which is more important. I know which is more important for our children and the future of this planet. I hope that you would realize.